Here's another reminder that birds are literally in the group of animals called the Dinosauria, and genuinely one of my favorite dinosaurs of all time is the Snowy Owl. It somehow balances both being just absolutely gorgeous with sometimes super dorky looking, but then also really intimidating and powerful. It's one of the largest owls, in fact, in North America. It is the largest owl by weight because it has particularly thick feathers that make it heavier than other large owls like the great horned owl and the great gray owl. And of course it needs these extra thick feathers because it lives in the far, far north. It's an arctic owl, obviously, and although um, some of them seem to stay up in the far north year-round. Most of them will fly to uh, migrate a little bit farther south in the winter and then spend their summers in the, I should say summers, right, in the extreme Arctic where it's actually 24-7 daylight, which makes snowy owls extremely diurnal active during the day and not nocturnal, which of course most owls are. And probably for that reason, snowy owls rely primarily on sight to locate their prey, and their sense of hearing is not as good as other owls, although they can still detect prey almost a mile away. Two other cool things about their feathers. They have super, super fluffy feet, uh, which is incredible and super weird for me to see in a bird, but do not be fooled by their adorable foot floofs. Uh, they, uh, they have extremely long talons in there, and they are very effective. A single snowy owl can eat more than 1,600 lemmings in a single year, along with all kinds of other prey during the winter season when they're a little bit farther south and lemmings aren't necessarily as abundant. Uh, for example, the ornithologist and artist John Audubon once saw a snowy owl lying at the edge of an ice hole where it waited for fish and caught them using its feet. This bird was literally ice fishing with its feet. Uh, they are also incredibly effective hunters because of how quiet they are when they fly. They are not as silent as some other owls, but they're still very quiet due to having tiny little sticky outy parts along the leading edge of their wings, which essentially breaks up the air that's passing over it as they fly and muffles the sound. And even though snowy owls live very, very far north, we have a pretty extensive fossil record of snowy owls going back over 16,000 years or more and showing that in ages past, there were snowy owls that lived as far south in North America as Illinois and Italy in Europe. And we even have them represented in European cave paintings. Lastly, unlike the albatrosses we talked about earlier this month that are pretty monogamous, snowy owls rarely breed at the same location or with the same mates on an annual basis. On, the annual, on an annual basis, holy cow. Uh, but same as the albatrosses, they are mostly solitary for most of their time during the year, but my favorite line from their Wikipedia page is that juvenile owls do not mind associating with one another. <laughs> so let me know what other animals, what other dinosaurs I should talk about this month.